All right, here's my audience. Here's my note cards. Okay. Inflation hasn't been as high as it currently is since 1982, exactly 41 years ago, which means that a burger that would have cost just 70 cents back then would cost $2.10 nowadays. Each and every one of us deals with inflation on a day-to-day -day basis, and every dollar earned and spent has inflation to thank for its value or the lack thereof. Inflation is an economic principle that transcends generations, meaning that most people being affected by it today weren't around to see how it used to be. Understanding how inflation got to this point and how it is right now can help us to manage it both personally and in our society. Although inflation hasn't always been an issue, the scale of which has increased exponentially in recent years, especially during the pandemic, I've wondered why it is that things I've enjoyed since I was little are all of a sudden financially out of reach. Today, we're going to discuss inflation in America. In order to understand the full extent of inflation in the modern era, we're going to talk about the history of inflation in America, the current situation as it is now, and things we as a society are doing to help alleviate its effects. Now that we've summarized the ongoings of inflation in America, it's time to discuss what inflation looked like about 40 years ago and everything that's happened to get it to where it is today. The Great Inflation was a period of extreme financial crisis between 1965 and 1982. The year 1982 marked the end of the Great Inflation. By recession's end, year-over-year -year inflation was back under 5%. Unemployment retreated and the economy entered a period of sustained growth and sustainability. Brian B.M. 2013. As the years marched on from the supposed finale of crippling inflation, the stability of the U.S. dollar continued to decrease. Globalization played an important role in affecting the worth of the dollar. As other countries and trade partners grew economy, grew their economy, they in turn swayed the ever-sensitive balance of the U.S. economy. That's not to say the U.S. wasn't doing well in spite of its allies and competitors, but slowly inflation came back and began to increase exponentially. The history of inflation is an important the history of inflation is important, but that's in the past. Let's talk about how inflation affects us nowadays. In recent years, inflation has grown disproportionately compared to before the pandemic hit the globe. Inflation in the United States was relatively low for so long that for entire generations of Americans, rapid price hikes may have seemed like a relic of the distant past, December 2022. However, amidst the immense disruption of supply chains and balance between supply and demand, Corporations and industry leaders took the opportunity to capitalize on the small amount of warranted price hikes. Prices for commodities across the board increased exponentially, some due to supply chain issues and others' reasoning was lost in the details, a lot of which was price hiking. So inflation is a lot worse right now than it has been for a long time, but what can we do about it? Many programs have already begun impl implementation in order to alleviate the effects of inflation. The American Rescue Plan, ARP Act, in 2021 boosted consumers' incomes above what they otherwise would have been, fueling high U.S. demand in the face of supply constraints and increasing prices. Policy, Policy Solutions 2022. More and more solutions are being implemented as we speak. Some plans include removing tariffs to increase foreign trade. Other answers include infrastructure reform to decrease unnecessary spending in areas such as energy use and water logistics. Today, we've discussed the extensive subject of inflation. We've examined the history of it, what inflation in the modern era is like, and what we're doing to alleviate it. I'd like to leave you with a quote from Ernest Hemingway. The first panacea for a mismanaged nation is inflation of the currency. The second is war. Both bring temporary prosperity, both bring permanent ruin, but both are the refuge of political and economic opportunists. My sources include De Silver D, 2022, June 15th, Pew Research Center, Brian B.M. and D. The Great Inflation, Federal Reserve History, United States Joint Economic Committee, and Six Ways to Fight Inflation, Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, and Inflation in the Policy Response in 2022, Economic Policy Institute. Thank you. Here's my audience. Thank you for attending.